Welcome back to Simply Simming Forever. If you enjoy my video today, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. I really appreciate the feedback. Today I wanted to do an opinion video on the new base game update to the calendar. I read an article about this new update on simscommunity.info. The calendar is coming to base game soon. It was originally a selling point for the Seasons Expansion Pack that was released in June of 2018. Now all players, whether or not they purchase the Seasons Expansion Pack, will have the calendar feature. The base game version of the calendar will include work and school schedules, birthdays, and festivals. This functions similarly to how it functions in The Sims 4 Seasons. The biggest difference is The Sims 4 calendar came with seasons includes holidays whereas the base game update will not. I already own the Seasons Expansion Pack and I can demonstrate how the calendar function works. A part of my household, which is a part of my upcoming Let's Play series, I have five Sims, two adults and three toddlers. As you see, the calendar shows seasons, weather, events, and holidays. Sims can plan a variety of events, doing it either gold or ungold. For example, if my Sim, Haley, wanted to throw herself a birthday party for aging into adulthood, she can plan it up to two weeks in advance and select which guests to invite. She even chooses the start time in a specific location, whether it's a community lot or a home lot. In addition to planning events, which is coming with the base game update, what's specific to The Sims 4 Seasons is the option to add holidays. So you can plan holidays by naming, choosing a theme, selecting if it requires a day off or not, and choosing up to five traditions. Once a holiday is created, you do have some flexibility in terms of editing or deleting the holiday and it will show up on the family map. In addition to being able to edit holidays that you create, you also have the option to edit pre-made holidays that came with the Seasons Expansion Pack, including Harvest Fest. I personally like Harvest Fest, but I don't like all of the traditions. So what I'm going to do is get rid of a tradition I really don't like. I don't like the holiday gnomes that pop up on the lots. They're very distracting and very hard to maneuver, so I'm going to add inviting guests and telling stories, which I feel fits more to my gameplay style and the way I celebrate holidays in real life. In addition to editing Harvest Fest by removing and adding traditions, I also decided to edit Love Day. I feel it should be a day off of work, so you can actually celebrate it with your spouse. So with that, I feel that the new game day, the new ga base game update is a good thing. We'll get to see on the calendar university classes, fairs related to Hinford on Bagley, which is a new town in College Living, and hopefully events related to Mount Komarebi and San, Mar San Mishuno events also. That way my Sims will be more convinced to leave the house and do various activities that normally I forget about when I'm playing in-game. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this new base game calendar update, and of course be sure to like or subscribe if you enjoyed any of the content you saw today. Thanks and have a great day!